Right, we're going to have a look at percentage of a number. Now, the success grid here for this is use the percentage grid, and you'll so I'll show you what that is, and it's on the website as well, and you'll be able to see it. Also, whenever you go across on the grid, you divide by 10. So, across, divide by 10. Whenever you go down, you half the number. And then finally, when you've done the percentage grid, use the percentage grid to get the answer. So use all the ones you need and sort it out. So probably the best thing for me to do is actually show you the percentage grid. So I've got it here. And as you'll notice, we've got 100%, 10%, 1%, 50%, 5%, 25%. If we work out all of these, we can get to any percentage pretty much that we need to. And as you'll notice, as you go across, you divide by 10. And as you go down, you half. So it makes it quite simple. So across, divide by 10, down half. So say the question was 61% of 400. So first of all, 400 is 100%. So I'm going to need probably 50%, 10%, and 1% to work this out. So 50% is half. Because I'm going down. 10%, I'm going to cross. So I'm dividing 400 by 10, which gives me smaller by one place so it's 40 and I also need the 1% so I'm going to have to divide by 10 again so 40 divided by 10 gives me 4 so 50% I've got which is 200 10% I've got which is 40 and 1% I've got which is 4 and all I need to then do to get to 61% because I've added these percentages get equals 61 is add up these totals which gives me 244. So 61% of 400 244. Okay, so the grid gross, we have divide by 10 and down we've got half. Let's have another go. 29% uh, of 360. So what percentages am I going to use? I think I'm going to use 30% and then take away 1 because you can add or take away in this. So I need 30%, so I need 3 10%. And then I'll need a 1% as well. So I'm going to put the 1% just here. So 10% and then a 1%. So I'm 100% to 360. I need the 10%, so I divide by 10, so it's 36. And I also need a 1%, so divide that again, it gives me 3.6. So the 10% is 36, 36, 36. So it's 36 add 36 add 36, or 3 times 36. This gives me 108. Then I need to take away the 1%, which is 3.6. So 108, take away, remember line up the units, 3.6. But zeros in the gaps. So 0 take away 6, remember I need to borrow if it's smaller, so it becomes a 7. So it's 10 take away 6, which is 4. 7 take, put the point in, 7 take away 3, which is 4. Then the 0, take away 0, 0, 1 take away, nothing is 1. So my answer is 104.4. And what you'll notice is, percentage of numbers, there's a couple of skills you need. You need to be able to add and subtract, obviously, and divide by 10 quite swiftly. So that's why this is later on in the package. So hopefully those skills are quite good. Now for one, one for you to have a go at yourself. So I've got 37% of 480. So if you want to have a go, I would suggest drawing the grid or using the grid depending on, on what way we want to do it. When we're across, divide by 10, down we're halfing. So 37% of 480. So I'm going to go through the answer. If you want to pause in three, do one right the answer is 37%. I'm going to do it so I need 10%, 10%, I need three 10% to get the 30, I need a 5%, and I need two 1%. And if I add all those together 10, 20, 30, 35, 34, 35, 36, 37, that will give me the 37%. So 480 is in there now. Go across because I need my 10%. So divide by 10 if I go across. So it's 48. 
I do need the one percent, so I'm going to go across again. So it's divided by ten again, which is four point eight. I also need the five percent, so I'm going to go down from the ten percent and half it, which gives me twenty-four. So I've got all the percentages I need. So it's forty-eight, forty-eight, and forty-eight for thirty percent, and ten five percent is twenty-four, and then the one percent is four point eight. And all I need to do now is add all these together. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to add it up, these three first, and then I'm going to add these two and then this at the end. So 48 times 3 gives me 144. So I need to keep that safe, so that equals 144. Then if I add the 24 on as well, I see will do that now. Add the 24, which gives me 168 now. And then I'm going to add the two of these together. So 4.8 add 4.8 gives me 9.6. And finally, I'm going to add 168 to 9.6. So 168, 9.6 million units are lined up. So it'll be six, seven, carry the one, seven, one. So my answer is 177.6. And that's probably as hard as it's going to get, 37% of 480, quite a lot to do. But we've got all the processes to do it. And use the grid, so across, divide by 10, going down, half.